If you're working in Daz Studio and you ever wondered how to get started with lip sync animation, there is a free plugin that will do the basics of lip sync animation for you. In this tutorial, I want to walk you through setting up the 32 bit version of Daz Studio, which is necessary to use the plugin, some of the parameters necessary for your audio file to feed that lip sync animation, and then how to use the lip sync animation plugin itself. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is to open up your DAS install manager. Like I said, in order to use the lip sync plugin, you can only use it in the 32 bit version of DAS Studio, which you probably don't have installed already. You probably don't see it to begin with in your available product list. In order to make it show up, you have to go to download filters. Scroll down to your OS, and by default, the 32-bit version of your OS, in my case Windows, isn't checked. You want to go ahead and check it. I will caution you for Mac users. Mac seems to be, or Apple seems to be dropping support for many applications that aren't compatible with their newer versions of the Mac OS. I think particularly 32-bit programs. So every time I open up Dash Studio 32-bit, on my Mac MacBook, it warns me that I may not be supported in the future. So use with caution if you're a Mac OS user. Anyways, let's go ahead, check 32-bit for your OS, hit accept. Then the option to, to install it would be um, down here in the product section. In my case, I have an update that I'm not going to update it right now, but it'll, same concept. Select it start the queue, let it install, and then after it installs, you can go ahead and close out Install Manager. Next, we're going to look at the audio. Go ahead and record the audio for your character in whatever program that um, you have available to you. In my case, I just happen to have um, Final Cut Pro is where I recorded it at but I didn't have options for when I exported it. I don't believe it, the plugin works too well with MP3 files, but definitely export in the .wav file. And this is what I have. I call my audio file bushmaster.wav. And this, these are the parameters that came out with 48,000 hertz um, stereo, 24-bit depth. Go ahead and in your audio editing software go ahead and do any edits you want to do i would caution against um you want to trim your file go ahead and trim from the back end but don't trim from the front end i'm going to actually go ahead and crop this file a little bit just to get rid of the back and i say keep the front because you're going to, have to take this audio file and marry it back up with your animation once you've completed that animation in a video file, you may have a hard time syncing it back up if you get rid of front of your audio that you used to originally feed your um, animation. Anyways, when you're ready to export, just go in your program and export it. And I'm just going to show you the parameters that I use in Adobe Audition. So go ahead and call your file. I usually call it something different from my original. So this original was Bushmaster, this is Bushmaster 03. I have two other files there, so it went ahead and enumerated it for me. Make sure you know where you're saving it to. Make sure it's WAV format, definitely. I'm gonna go here into change and show you what I did there. For the sample rate conversion, I dropped it down from 48,000 to 44.1,000. Um, uh, that seems to work better. I unchecked pre post filter. I dropped it from stereo to mono. I dropped the bit depth from 24 to 16 bits. Um, once you get it working, I know this works for Dash Studio. So once you get it working, maybe you can tweak each parameter one at a time to see how high back up you can go. But this works for now. So go ahead and I go. For audition, I go ahead and uncheck that as well. Just keep this file as simple and clean as possible. 
So hit OK and that exports my file. So we don't need this anymore. Minimize that. And now we have already opened up Daz Studio 32-bit. Uh, Not 64-bit, 32-bit. And should be marked, um, the icon should be marked which, which version is which. And I already loaded my scene with my character. This character is based on the Genesis 2 male. Now it's very important that you um, know which um, version of Genesis that your character is based on. Because you need a configuration file that matches that character. So for Genesis 2, I need a file called Genesis2.dmc. I had a Genesis 3 male or female, I need a Genesis 3.dmc. Genesis, like one, you need a Genesis.dmc file. And by default, the Genesis.dmc file is already installed on your computer when you install DAS Studio. You may or may not have the Genesis 2 and 3.dmc files, or they may be in a whole other directory than what the default. But to make sure it's installed, um, in, you want to make sure you have this installed. Genesis 2 Starter Essentials, which comes with DAS Studio. Also, Genesis 3 Starter Essentials, again, comes with DAS Studio. Just make sure you go to the Install Manager and check those in and download them or in, and install them. So to get to the plugin, you go to Window. Pains tabs, go down to lip sync. This is not available again in the 64 bit version. You wouldn't see it here. This opens up the lip sync tab. I'm just going to delete the parameters from my last session. Start a little fresh. So, briefly going over these buttons and sections the load button is what we, where we choose our WAV file. Listen, once we loaded it, You'll be able to, you know, through your speakers, listen to the file. Record is a feature where you can record audio in DAS Studio itself. And that might be a more straightforward method. I don't know how reliable it is. I've kind of heard some bad things about it in the forums. Um, so I never really tried it or use it. So it might work fine. Go ahead and give it a shot. Analyze is the button that we use once we load everything we need to load up. And it will. Take your WAV file and animate your character based on that WAV file. Mimic Pro is basically the um, beefier paid version of the free lip sync plugin. I never used it, never bought it, so I can't speak to its effectiveness. Of open timeline. The sound file is basically the same button as the load file. You load a WAV file. And once we load, you'll see it populated down here. Text file. I've used this in the past where you can type in or load a TXT file of um, the same speech that's in your WAV file. I'm not sure if it helps the animation process at all. Um, I've done it in the past because it couldn't hurt. Now, configuration files, which I was talking about earlier with the .dmc files. Click on this. It takes you to the default directory of the configuration files for in DZ Mimic. Um, and you see lots of characters, basically legacy characters. Any character you may have in installed that had a DMC file accompanying it. Um, and you will see the Genesis.dmc file, but you don't see the Genesis 2 or Genesis 3. We need the Genesis 2 file for our specific example today. Like I said, make sure you have the Genesis 2 and 3 Starter Essentials installed, and I'll show you how to find those files and save yourself so, so some pain next time around. Just go ahead and drag those files to this directory so you don't have to search for them again. What I'm going to do is go all the way back up to the C drive, then go to Users, and then go to Public. Documents, and then my dash 3D library. I kind of forget from here where the configuration files are, but that's okay. So now I'm going to search on star.dmc. So it'll find all the configuration files within that directory structure. And it found Genesis 
2win3.dmc. Here's the location. So I would advise you to go ahead and drag and drop those into the same directory where all the other configuration files are. So you're going to have to do this again. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and select it. Open. Now we have the configuration file for our character. Go ahead and load our audio file. And when you hit load, it's going to drop you into a directory by default evaluation sounds, which is a bunch of you know, pre recorded audio short phrases that come with Dash Studio. Uh, you can test those out just to test out the functionality of the Lip Sync plugin. And you also you may want to use these files, you know, go to properties for these files and look at the details and look at the bit rate and compare with the file that you export and make sure you're in the same ballpark. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and load the file that I exported. It's this. Hit open. And then once you open it, like I said, it's going to show it right here. And you're going to hit analyze. If your file is not set up properly with the right sample rates and bit depths, it will error out at this point. And it's not going to really tell you why. Uh, it's probably because you don't have the right sample rates and whatnot. As in, if it is set up right, it's just going to go ahead and animate your character. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, that didn't take long for me. It was a short phrase, only 173 frames. It will change your scene to match the length of your audio file or your animation that you already have in here, whichever one's longer. I'm going to go ahead and close this. I don't need it anymore. And we see we have keyframes for our animation now. I'm going to go ahead and try to play the file for you or the animation for you with the audio. Um, it may not be smooth because I have a lot going on on my computer, but you will notice during playback that the neck will move and the head will move kind of with the speech as best as it can. It's pretty, usually pretty good. And that, and of course, the mouth will move with the words and then the eyes will blink a, oh, a few times. So uh, it does a pretty good job for a start. Stokes. Araya. Stokes. Stokes. So we saw during playback, it everything I just mentioned about you know, the head movements and everything it looks makes it look more natural than just doing the mouth. Stokes. Araya. Stokes. I'm just scrubbing the timeline to show you. Uh, that was a better example of you seeing the mouth move um, right in line with uh, the audio. So like I said, you, you could go ahead and save it in 32-bit mode and open it back up in 64-bit mode um, and finish your animation there. Um, but that's pretty much the basics of it. Um, again, thanks for watching. I have a couple more videos um, you see above about how to take your dad's characters and import them into blender 3d so check out that series i think you'll find it very helpful hopefully you found this video helpful as well go ahead and leave a like um, and consider subscribing to the channel w3 productions and if you have any more insights into animating your dad's characters leave a comment below i'd love to hear from you I'm sure other viewers will love to hear from you as well. Thank you. Have a blessed day. And the words were all written in tongues, so I didn't really understand them. But how many of y'all know the Lord will always leave you a ham in the bush? Is that, is that wrong?